So this one I'm going to call something along the lines of uh, <clears throat> negative impressions or imprint, negative imprint. And yeah, there's, this goes into a lot. So basically, like this goes into like reverse imaging and um, not just, you know, people say, oh, if you listen to music or certain things backwards, you're going to hear messages backwards, etc., etc. Right? Now, this is going into imagery though, right? Because I was talking about how marketing and hypnosis are synonymous and basically the same thing. Now, we're not going <clears> to, <throat> you know explain all these things again you can just go into past videos but the thing is is um now when we deal with predictive programming and technology and um like just programming in general for whether it's from um jobs whether it's from uh education whether it's from religion whether it's from television whatever whatever it is in the way i was describing how the artificial crystals work in the sense of like pulling people's energy and processing it and sending it etc like in that in that set set up this is basically um how energy harvesting works on the reverse uh, factor so when you have like for example positive and negative and then you have like regular or you have you could say anti and then just non-anti Basically, the way this uh, polarity works between the between the two is when you're seeing certain any kind of programming or in any kind of programming, it, the way that you're responding with the environment, what you have to do with it, it, it's creating a negative impression, and you can call that, you can say it's connected to the shadow and also the subconscious mind and so on, but now. The subconscious mind obviously is entirely different. The shadow is kind of like more in between that. But the thing is, is like, just for other people who might be kind of connecting the two, I feel like people kind of just connect the two overly. But basically, when it deals with programming, it's dealing with pretty much a entire... Um, like the matrix in a sense is basically like a harvesting system because if you really think about it at the end of the day when you're dealing with the matrix it is still about your physical body and what you're and and how you like your lifestyle and the way you're going to live everything like that right now when you get to certain levels with it that's explaining how it's going that, to that, that, that tells you how deep certain things go so when you claim energy claim um claim ownership over your own energy and body and stuff like that this goes into anything else that may want to respond to essentially um that may have tried to claim that energy uh, before so when it deals with basically your energy and how and your signature when you watch certain things or um interact with certain things this even deals with just like buying food and all this is why it's such a trap right basically um on one level it is a suit people will try to take that as an assumption that you're essentially uh creating a contract and in a sense that's not really actually what's happening because at the end of the day you can tell all of this is still based around hypnosis and trying to draw a person's energy out of you out of them you know because when you get into for example if you see like the twa if you go into like the rainforest and stuff like that you're going to see the way that energy it's like people contain that it's like you're able to contain it but everything in the in the matrix is kind of reverse it's about pulling your energy out and it's essentially about um it's essentially about really killing everybody in the matrix <laughs> like if you really think about it but because <clears throat> everything in it is promoted promoting death for the most part um even when it doesn't look like that a lot of times it is like the products and all these different things and just even when there is like an attempt for people to go and do more healthier things if <clears throat> the way it becomes branded and things change it becomes usually um 
diluted, even just the fact that it's like an industrialized um, system where people operate in similar functions the way that they do. Like, it's a very, uh, how should I say? Yeah, it's just very, it's just very uh, programmed to an extent, but that I can understand to um, certain levels, but it's just, if you really think about all of this, it's like the way that um, reflection works and negative impressions there um, and reverberations, it's really important to just kind of be aware of how deep programming can go because <clears throat> it pretty much creates an effect where you become very like you could say uh you, like because yeah it, it makes you become more you could say non-active in controlling reality you can you know what i mean so the matrix can really take you into a position like that so if you get caught up into that especially now it's changing very heavily as well right so <clears throat> When you see like the Mona Lisa, there's some kind of weird like upside down negative impression of a different face that I don't know how to really put it except for that in that exact way I put it. And um, I've seen that in a lot of certain branding and imagery where it seems like it's a, uh, it's like used as like a model for a certain, I would say advertisement that I guess like like a template you know what i'm trying to say it becomes like a template that i can kind of see behind certain things like for example you'll be able to see certain patterns and symbols behind certain uh, imagery right like that's just like a thing that you can see if you can see behind embedded imagery um <clears throat> or layered imagery <clears throat> if you can do that with your eyes but there's certain faces and things like that that also be embedded which i've seen for for example but there's like this upside down um I don't know with the Mona Lisa thing so it's like and then the whole story with uh if you really look into what that what that is about and like the Caesar Borgia and, and like the Christ imagery and all that type of stuff or the Jesus imagery I shouldn't say Christ but the um yeah that is definitely um how should I say part of a certain culture of people and that is about a certain type of mental warfare now when you look at it like that what happens is when people come and put certain imagery and for instance certain symbol symbols and put people into certain simulations and all that it puts people into energy harvesting traps where now they start when they when, when they use like rank and class and all these type of things instead of like for example, your parents or your parents or your, or people use like different terminology for like societies and shit like that, right? Like, um, that are synonymous with terms that you would use for like actual family or different things like that. It's like, um, this is people, what people's way of kind of like trying to claim ownership over, um, basically just certain aspects of, um, your wealth, your, I don't know how you how how you want to word it, but just your energy and all in in a certain type of way. So, yeah, people. There's a lot of people who will freely try to like claim energy that is not associated with them, and it's just kind of it, it, it gets beyond just like people saying it verbally. It becomes a thing where um, it's set up into <clears throat> it's set up into. Uh, just like imagery so for example now it'll be a thing where a person can be entirely one way and then they'll make themselves appear in another way but the way they do it is through like a reverse hypnotic imagery type of thing to trick um a person's mind and that's the key thing so when you're able to recognize these things 
Right. And the important part is these type of hypnotic tricks is the important part is to trick you so that when you do go through the experience that it's something that you can't get out of. Right. So <clears throat> this is why it's important to know how to set up certain type of mental, um, you could say, proxies that interact with things over experiences so that you can understand what things are once um, you've allowed that thing to go through a failure type of mechanism. So, for example, this is why on one level being accepting of things, but knowing how to set that up and then allowing something to, like I say, like basically almost take you out so that it, that you can know what it is that's taking you out, right? That you can <clears throat> use a dummy or a clone or whatever, if you want to put it like that, to take, to, um, to see what something's about, some, something is attempting to do. So when that's really how you have, how you can deal, the only way to deal with this type of, um, hypnotic, uh, negative impression programming thing that I'm describing here. So that's why like Naruto, you see like them do like substitution jutsus and stuff when they're about to get hit in certain ways or, um, certain types of clones and shit like that. Yeah. So this is why it's important to be able to set those up so that you can also cut off, um, the, you, yeah. So it's just important to set those up now. when and yeah i'm talking about like mentally uh physically that's like a whole other level but i'm talking about just more like astrally mentally emotionally all that type of stuff so that when certain things happen it doesn't actually it's not it doesn't really actually have anything to do with you <laughs> that's crazy as that is but um yeah so anyways these negative impressions right this is essentially ways that people try to cord energy and create portals from one one space to another space. This is why it's important to kind of like know what these things are. But then when you're trying to now, when you're trying to just essentially deal with all this type of stuff, that's why it's important to just focus on self more than anything. Because then when, um, for example, people try to pray, people try to um, ask, uh, call the police, people try to ask a friend or people try to ask, you know, trying to say, do these different things, like reach out in different ways to try to get help for a situation. But these type of things is like things that you have to be able to, um, be able to deal with, can like just be able to handle type of thing. So this type of thing is like a much deeper level. So I would say this deals with like the dark Lord level. And I was describing was like, <laughs> it's kind of a different level, but that level which um yeah it's not impossible to deal with that but um as long as you're just at a certain i guess level too but the thing is is like or to handle that type of thing but um but yeah when it deals with these negative impressions this is why it's um kind of just important to be able to know what your intentions are and deal with situations straightforward and through and follow what you're intending for and then continue along that because it allows you to be able to essentially go through all this type of stuff without getting hit with any of this type of stuff at the same time and then you won't have to be aware of all this type of stuff as well so you can still be aware of this stuff and then not get hit by the stuff too but um but you can also be not aware of it and not get hit by it but that's just by being focused on what your intentions are now, but if you are aware of this type of stuff and you're not getting hit by this type of stuff, um, simultaneously, um, I would just say like the important aspect of understanding why these type of negative impressions exist, but, um, on a mental and astral, any kind of level like that, it's essentially to try to put you in some kind of mental or emotional, um, um, you could say construct that creates a cord, like a false construct that creates a cord to um, an energy that is not connected to you. So for example, um, you could be in a prison cell and then someone could put, when you look 
up out the bar or whatever bars whatever you can see certain imagery and all this other stuff that you can't control but it's like it, it to create a certain type of response at, at you but the thing is if you know how to deal with that so it doesn't create that response you can actually even get stronger from that shit but the thing is it's like that is like the type of forced you could say portals that get created that people that people will create so or energies or any, anything so but the thing is usually it will start with people uh, talking and describing uh, constructs and putting you in situations that aren't even actually accurate to a situation you know and usually the way they'll do it is they'll have to use time to change a unfavorable circumstance that they were in so that they can try to get out of a fucked up situation that they're in by trying to pit the blame on you but by flipping the situation by taking time to try to manipulate you into situation like it's it's an overly ridiculous setup where people who get put into jams and messed up situations will um yeah figure out ways to basically put people into messed up situations to get themselves out of their situation but at the same time because they get they some some people will get the power to also use the law to also put people in messed up situations so it's like they can have they can use the law and bad behavior to fuck with people and shit like that so it's like those type of people also will just like power trip and shit like that so it's like but it's not even just a people thing it's like an energy thing too this is kind of like where you get into arconic energy right um because arconic energy uses like power and law at the same time to um yeah get get at people so it's like yeah it's like a dual energy on that so when you realize that these and then it always starts with um putting people into some kind of fake construct because if you notice like if you see in certain movies for example when you see people like on military campaigns and that you see like them come up and they're like before they even um maybe go to war with someone they might come and introduce themselves and they play music on the introduction and like before and uh, as people enter and all that it's like all of that is basically to put people into a certain construct about how to handle a situation that you might not need to even address in that fashion you know it's like people could be putting on this big show to enter but it's like or you could just not waste time and have one person come in and say what it is to be said so it's like you, you see what i'm saying it's like the way people will present themselves on one level too it gets deep and then it's like sometimes people present themselves one way and then an another time they'll present themselves in an entirely different way and then they'll do it as like a form to um not in a way where like you're maybe just growing and it's just like you've grown you've grown through a situation but they'll change in a sense where um they're trying to set you up in the situation you know what i'm saying so they'll act one way and then another time maybe they're like undercover like they're undercover cop or some shit like that like you know what i'm trying to say they like switch up like that it's not so those are like entrapment type of energies as well so those which usually trap type of energies usually set people up like that that's the setting up energy that's a trap energy right so like for example you you have monster spell traps right like these are different aspects of it so yeah and then at the same time usually the way prison these type of energies work and it's not actual prison jail jail but people who talk about um putting like someone going to jail or someone or someone being in a messed up situation or trying to help you out all like all these type of energies a lot of times it gets into situations where um, they're trying to lock you down into a situation, analyze your shit, take your shit, and then make money off your shit, and then steal your identity. It's basically a form of identity theft. So anyone who puts you into false constructs and then tries to extract, and, uh, and you may not even be realize that you're getting extracted for energy, but the way you know you're getting extracted is if you or feel like you're in some kind of paralyzed, you can't move state. That's when you know you're being um, taken, um, extracted for energy. So it's like when that happens, um, you got to break out of that. That's again in naruto they call that a genjutsu you know so people will attack so many different things they'll be like they'll attack the way that you come to a, a conclusion but the thing is is like you got to be perceptive about how um people move so like for example the way i might describe situations is not the way i came to the conclusion to understand the situation <laughs> the way i might describe the situation is a format that might be just like compatible to other people for them to understand so i call that like a lingua franca or like a like english right everyone speaks english so a way to describe things to other people but then the way you process and understand understand things might be completely different so i might use a certain type of way to describe something 
that I might have completely understood from a completely different perspective. You know what I'm trying to say? And it's because I'm trying to bridge two things that like so it's like people will try to attack maybe like the way that you describe something. They'll be like, Oh, you said it like you describe you use this type of reference or you said it with this type of tonality or you said it with this you didn't say it with the correct um accent or like you know what I'm saying, like all this type of stuff. And that might not have anything to do with the actual intended thing that you're describing because the way you process things and the way you communicate things are two different things. You got, you got what I mean. And that really goes for most people. Right. So that's what I mean with this whole negative impression thing. So people will put people in the constructs and then try to, you could say, extract them for something while at the same time taking their shit and then trying to basically identity theft them. And that's kind of like how this heavy snake energy works, which I describe as not have anything to do with the, when I say serpent, like the dragon, like the actual, that energy, energy has nothing, that's more dealing with flight, that has nothing to do with the, yeah, this, which is like the, um, yeah, the constrict and extract energy, your energy, and then this is, that's more the archonic energy, which is dealing with like using the law and the criminal system simultaneously, which is some archonic shit, so that is, um, Yeah, dealing with this whole negative impression thing. So at that point, it, it's really a format also that if you are able to focus on yourself, then you won't really get into that. But the thing is, it's like if you want to have control and of your life and over yourself too as well, then you have to deal with this stuff as well, right? So it's real deep. Like even the craziest part is like one time, I think it was a couple of years ago, right? Um, I was literally dreaming where I was exactly saying this on on this video as crazy as it sounds I was in a dream I remember I woke up in this moment in the dream and I was saying this in this video and I knew it was like a couple like a different time period or something and I was saying exactly what I was saying and I took a moment I was like should I say this and I remember it connected back to that time and that's how crazy this stuff can even get so like when you get into like modes like that where um you can connect to like future aspects of yourself and see these type of things and control start controlling your future with your actual mind and that's what i'm trying to describe right now it's like in that dream a couple of years back i was saying which is not a dream really but like me controlling my future from that like literally with my mind um this is where you could say you attract dark lord beings in certain aspects and certain other things so it's like and shadow beings and all these other things so it's like these type of energy which people have a hard time kind of describing and to people who don't have to interact with well they everybody has to interact with this stuff but the difference is if you can see it and deal with all that stuff and these things know that you can see all this type of shit to whatever level that becomes a thing where it becomes very um chaotic and even me describing this i know it's not going to become more chaotic in my life from describing this because like it, it's not going to really change anything but um in that way but the thing is, it's like, it gets deep because like, um, when you can start seeing the negative impressions of, of different imagery, right, then you'll start to see that, um, things will start to try to claim over your energy, like claim, claim authority over your energy. And that's where you have to be able to let go of certain things that people might feel attached to, but that at those time periods, you definitely won't feel attached to it. You'll definitely want to cut those type of things off, but you want to, at the same time, before you do that, create, do it in a wise way where you actually understand the lesson of all those things before you do that, because you don't want um, something to try to make you feel like, oh, I need to cut this off so that now something might make you do that when it's trying to just run away from you and make you feel like you're doing something. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's not like massive deep reverse psychology. And that's why being very intentful about everything and, and, um, creating your reality for yourself right and be like having a mind like that it puts you on a different level and i'm not saying everybody has to do this it's just you're just it's just on a different level though right maybe you do it at certain levels and you do it for a certain times but yeah this just puts you at a certain level so when you do that anything that tries to claim authority over your mind um has to basically either relinquish that or try to i guess fight more powerfully for that and then that's when they these type of things try to attack essentially which like that's why like i've already from my experience i would say just being able to 
be tenfold with what you're doing and then focused and knowing how to balance certain things and um, staying true to certain um, things and yeah especially being able to break those like hallucinations um, because I'm not saying I who like none don't so people don't even trip or try to make some kind of but I'm saying being able to break like for example someone might be talking to you and they're trying to put you in some bullshit like they're trying to tell you some bullshit just breaking out of like that breaking out of any being very disillusioned which um but on a level where it's not like something that like you deal with it on that level where you're not trying to bring it into uh that realm right there unless but the thing is is like if people do bring it into that realm or anything like that being able to handle that type of stuff as well so that's what i mean with this whole negative impression thing and then um being able to kind of also maintain your energy and be be able to be a ghost but handle and do the things that you got to do is extremely 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 important so um yeah i'm gonna end it there <laughs>